Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second episode of the second season of my web series, That's a Wrap, where I talk about everything entertainment related from theater to film. Now, one of the reasons that I started this web series is because I wanted to create a platform to introduce to people some performers in some films that you might be a little less unfamiliar with. Um, I have to say, um, some classic cinema is what really um, inspired me to become a performer, and that is one of the reasons why I started this web series, is because I wanted an opportunity to introduce some of those films and some of those actors to, um, to other people. So, for today's episode, I'm going to talk about uh, my favorite actress, Judy Holliday. Now, if you've been following me, um, some of my um, uh, episodes from the beginning, you've heard me talk about Judy several times, but I haven't um, really gone into really in depth into who she was. And for this episode, um, I wanted to do that because she, um, like I said, she's my favorite actress and is such a inspiration to me in the work that I try to do as a performer. So first off, why do I like her so much? Well, I just think she is incredibly, incredibly talented. Um, I um, was like um, a lot of you, I had never heard of the name Judy Holiday until um, one day, um, this was maybe about, oh, I don't know, about 10 years ago. Um, I was up late at night and I was watching, I believe it's um, maybe TMC or some classic movie channel. And I just kind of happened to stumble upon one of her movies. Um, and I was just, I remember being instantly transfixed by this person on the screen. She was just so effortlessly captivating that it just made me stop and watch and I remember staying up late that night because it was an actual they were doing like whatever network it was on they were doing a film fest of um, almost all of her movies and I just remember watching one after the other after the other and just being so transfixed by this performer on the screen um she was um when she was making movies, it was the 1950s. And back in those days, performers were part of what was called the studio system. Meaning that if you were an actor or actress in Hollywood, you were signed, you signed a contract to work at a specific film studio. Meaning um, if you signed a contract with MGM Film Studios, you made movies specifically with MGM Films, or if you were signed to Paramount Film Studios, that is who you worked for. Very, very seldomly did performers um, branch out. You signed the contract, that was who you worked for. They, in a sense, for um, all and intents and purposes, they really owned you until um, the 60s when that studio started to dissolve. So being that these performers were um, part of the um, studio system, you had to do the parts that were assigned to you. You know, the studios would, <clears throat> excuse me, they would find um, a movie for the, a particular actor or actress, and that was your project. And if you didn't do it, you faced so many repercussions. You faced not working, you faced being fired, you faced being put on suspension. So if you wanted to work, you pretty much had to do what they told you. And because uh, Judy was working in this time during Hollywood, um, a lot of the roles that she was offered were kind of the same, the stereotypical dumb blonde roles. But one of the things that is so great about her and is such a testament to her as a performer is that each and every role that she played, although they were variations on the same character, she made each and every character different. You know, and as a performer, that's one of the reasons why I love her. You know, they were essentially the same type of character, but each one had a specific way of talking, of um, 
of moving, of sitting, of standing. And that inspires me as a performer because I try to create that type of authenticity in my own work um, on stage. Um, and one of the things that I also found really interesting um, about her is that um, she was stuck playing these dumb blonde characters um, on camera, but in reality, she uh, had a genius level IQ. So, you know, you know, being one person in her personal life, but playing someone completely different in her on screen life, that, you know, is the mark of a fantastic actress. Um, so some of my favorite performances of her. She had a relatively short, um, tragically, she died quite young because of cancer. So she did not have a very um, long career, but the legacy that she left on screen is just terrific. And uh, some of my favorite performances um, are um, beginning with um, Born Yesterday. This is perhaps the film that she is most known for. Um, it um, is what really, I think, catapulted her into legendary status. It's been remade, I believe, once in the 80s or 90s with Melanie Griffiths, at Griffith, and it started out as a play on Broadway, and it's been revived, but even through any different incarnation, every actress that is cast in that role is always compared to her because she left such an indebitable mark <clears throat> a stamp on that character. Um, I remember Born Yesterday was revived uh, several years ago in New York, and um, um, at that point I had only seen the movie, so um, I wanted to see the play, so I went to see it, and the cast was good. It was a good production, but I, you know, it was hard for me to really love it because it's just Judy. It's Judy in my head. It's Judy in my heart. Seeing someone else play that um, role, it just didn't seem right. And that is, I think, the mark of a great artist. You, to create a performance that no matter who plays it, no matter where it's done, you will always be identified as that role. Um, uh, she was nominated uh, for uh, an Academy Award for Best Actress and won the Academy Award for Best Actress uh, in 1915. Um, that, <coughs> excuse me, that, I have a little bit of cold, um, that uh, was a very, very tight year for motion pictures because in 1950, you had so many legendary films coming out. You had, um, uh, number one, Sunset Boulevard with Gloria Swanson. You had All About Eve with Betty Davis and Ann Baxter. And you had um, Born Yesterday, three legendary films with three legendary performances. Um, but Judy Holliday, she won the Oscar that year. And it frustrates me as a fan because a lot of people tend to downplay the fact that she won the Academy Award being, I guess, because it's a comedy or... But, yes, Born Yesterday, it is a comedy. But at its core, it's about a real, real person coming of age and knowing that she is better than the life that she has created for herself. I won't say too much. I don't want to spoil the film for you. If you have not seen it, I highly, highly, highly recommend it because her performance is hilarious, but it's also touching and so incredibly moving. So go check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, the next uh, favorite performance of hers is from Adam's Rib. This was uh, made directly before uh, Born Yesterday uh, in 1949 uh, with, uh, in this film, she worked alongside Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy. Now, <clears throat> as the story goes, um, uh, Judy Holliday, as I said, she originated the role of Billy Dawn on stage in Born Yesterday, but by the late 40s, when it was time to bring Born Yesterday to the screen, um, the studio bosses at Columbia Pictures didn't think she had the draw or the box office appeal to bring people into the theaters. So, you know, they thought she was all right for Broadway, for the stage, but for the film version, they were looking for someone else. Everyone from uh, Lucille Ball to um, Barbara Stanwyck. So considering everyone but her. So Catherine Hepburn heard about this. And um, she worked with George Cukor in this film, Born Yesterday, to specifically craft a role 
for Judy Holiday to show um, the studio bosses at Columbia Pictures that she could act and pull off this role of Billy Don on screen. And as you know, it worked and she got the part. Um, the next film that I really love of hers is called It Should Happen to You. It um, starred her, uh, Judy Holiday, alongside Jack Lemon. Um, this was another film, like I said at the beginning, this was um, another variation of the Billy Don kind of dumb blonde character, but she plays it with such authenticity and such honesty. It's um, about this um, model in New York City who is kind of tired with her life and the way that things are working, and she decides to kind of um, strike out on her own and try and make some noise and make a name for herself. Um, yeah, like I said, kind of the same character that she had been playing, but Judy plays it with such vulnerability and authenticity that, once again, it is so, so incredibly captivating. Um, the uh, next one is um, Bells Are Ringing. Bells Are Ringing. This is another run right up there with Born Yesterday that... Um, she is the most closely identified. Two of her most well-known films that are still produced today um, as, uh, as plays are Born Yesterday and uh, Bells Are Ringing. <coughs> um, this one was... Um, uh, it, it was actually the final film of her career. It was uh, released in 1960. Uh, it starred her alongside Dean Martin, uh, directed by Vincent Minnelli. Um, once again, uh, in um, following suit with Born Yesterday, it started its life as a play in 1956, but this time, uh, when it came time to make the moody movie, uh, Judy Holliday did have to worry because, of course, she had been an established um, film actress for a while, so, of course, the, um, the part in the film automatically, um, automatically went to her, so she got to recreate that uh, performance and bring it on screen. Um, and it's just remarkable. Remarkable is the word that I would use to describe her in all of her film performances. Now, these are just, um, as I said, she had a relatively short film career. Um, she only made about 11 movies. Um, these uh, are some of my personal favorite, but really any Judy Holiday film, if you um, if you choose to check it out, you will not be disappointed. Um, and I think that is the mark of a great artist when your performance and your work stands the test of time. And no matter who went, and no matter when that work is revived, you know, no matter who is playing it, your performance is always the benchmark to what people hold accountable for those roles. That is the mark of a great artist. So, in closing, if you have not seen any of her films, once again, Born Yesterday, I think that's a great place to start um, your Judy Holiday film experience. So, um, I, I don't know if it's on Netflix or anything like that, but your local library, I'm sure, you know, has a copy or any... Um, any of your um, online, you can get it there. Um, I recommend, I recommend checking her out. You will not, not be disappointed. All right. Thank you guys so much for viewing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, so uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.